In today's video, we're making a creepy cuttery board. For this project, I am using uh, some deep pour epoxy. So I'm selecting between the Alumilite deep pour or the mass deep pour. Now these are two from the same company which have supported my channel for about five years. So go check it out. There's a link below and that's what we're going to use. So I'll be using today the Alumilite. I'll use this on some of my other projects. I'm going to mix about about four ounces of this. Actually let's do three ounces because you know two parts of this will be two ounces and one of this will be one ounce. Let's mix three ounces. I love to do it by volume because it's so easy. You just need two parts of one and one part of the other, regardless of how big each part is. So I'm using these one ounce cups filled up to the top. So two of these, one of that. Now the trick to good resin is mixing well. So I'm not worried about too much about bubbles. So I'm going to mix it for literally like three minutes without stopping. Right now it looks kind of milky. I don't know if you can see it. And it'll turn perfectly clear when it's mixed correctly. Now, while I mix, I have a tip for you. Go to a dollar store and get whatever powder makeup they have because it's made out of mica uh, minerals. Okay, don't get the wet kind because they like, have an oil or, a, or some sort of lotion in it. Oh, it's turning much clearer now. If you can see that, you can see the bottom of the cup now. And I'm going to add some of this dollar store makeup it's called uh what shimmering loose this is just to give it just a little bit of a tint so that the cutting board has like a base to it It's like a pearl shimmery kind of silver. I'm using the pearl color because it's a big contrast to the insects we're going to put in there. If you use like a black base, then the flies and the roaches will just disappear. So I'm using a white base. And the intention here is not to fill up the whole mold. It's just to put a thin layer where we can put the insects exactly where we want them. All right, this looks great. Now these are... Uh, now this deep pour epoxy is really good because it has really low viscosity so it's really liquid which is really good so it goes into all the it spreads really thin and even and also if you're doing it on wood it goes into every little crevice this handle needs to get a bunch of resin here we're going to let this cure for three or four hours until it's like really tacky uh, because once we put the insects in, if it's too liquid, the insects will float and it will uh, ruin the project. So we want them to be where we can push them a little bit in and they stay there. And don't forget to blow the bubbles up by using a torch or a heat gun. And now we hurry up and wait. It's been a few hours and uh, resin is really tacky. So for the insects, I have flies spiders and nice delicious roaches for this one I'm going to do just flies uh, this is kind of like an experiment then on future ones I'll put the roaches and the spiders for now we're going to do flies and maybe we can do like a streak of blood at the end of the board so let's do that all right the link for this is in the description if you want flies. I'm pushing them into the soft resin so that they don't float when we cover the top right here. Let's put one here and All right, that looks nice and nasty. 
let's go ahead and uh, let's put one more I think balance it all right here at this edge I'm gonna push these firmly into the soft resin so that they don't float up the other resin will flow around it so you can see it keeps let me see. Look at, so you push it so that it goes deep into the resin. I'm going to mix up another batch, maybe about uh, 9 ounces. So it'll be like 6 of part A and uh, 3 of part B. And uh, that'll be clear. And I'm going to put it over the flies. And then on one end I'm going to mix a little bit of the resin with like a red pigment. To make it look like blood to see if we can get some cool effect here at the end of the board. Let's do that now. These guys have some bubbles so I'm going to loosen them up with the stir stick. Like this guy right here. Get that bubble out of there. This one and so on. All right get the bubbles out and run the torch. All right, in hindsight, for next time, I'm going to take the flies, throw them in here, mix them up with the resin first until they're really coated because I noticed that uh, there's some bubbles caught under the wings and they are almost impossible to get out. Next time, All right, we learn and we keep going. We are ready for the final coat. Now I realized that I messed up because the wings of the flies, I didn't realize that were the same exact kind of like density as the, as the resin. So they disappeared. So it looks like the flies have no wings. So I'll have to figure out something different next time. See, the wings have totally disappeared and I know they have wings. For this next coat, I'm going to mix up uh, some resin. Maybe I'm thinking like two ounces to one and see if that's enough to cover whatever's left over of the mold. For the blood color, I am using resin dye by Alumilite. Pretty cool. All right, let's find the red for blood. This is called Flow Red. This is yellow. I'm going to add a tiny little drop of that. So going to take a tiny little bit of the resin one drop of bright red and see if we can do half a drop of yellow the one not even a whole drop oh that's a little too much okay perfect let's see what this looks like a little orange I have to put a tiny little drop of blue. Look how that glows in the dark orange. So maybe, I'm um, guessing we need just a touch of green. All right, let's put a tiny, tiny little drop of green here. Ugh, too much. I'm going to put the excess right here on this uh, paper towel. There. All right, let's see what this does to the color. Ooh, man, it's still very orange. Now it needs blue. So I added half a drop of blue and that didn't work out. Ended up with like a really dark aquamarine. So I'm going to put it here on my Altoid tin and use it for one of my reflection ponds. A perfect color. And we can try again. All right, so this is called translucent red. Let's try that instead. All right, let's try again. So a drop of red. 12 times is the charm. Oh, that, that is blood right there. See? So now that we have this, I'm going to set it aside for just a second and we're going to pour this all around. Now get yourself one of these makeup applicators from the dollar store. They are silicone, so they don't stick to anything. For the red, there's no science to it. I'm just going to put a line here at the very edge.
clear has to be touching the red so that the red slides over the clear. I hope. <laughs> In theory. Now get your blower. And we're going to blow the red that way. I get bleed all the way down and I think that looks good. Just leave it like that. And let's get the bubbles. Now we're gonna let this cure. Now this is done. Let's unmold it. There's a link to this mold in the description. These are silicone. And they usually don't stick to the resin as you can see. They peel right off. So what's left to do? You see these little lines right here? Those are like sticking out so I'm going to sand those down. I'm going to sand the edges and then we'll do some beauty shots. And then we can go and start our Halloween party. Let's go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you have the coolest Halloween party this season. So get something like this, easy to make, nice and creepy, and be the star of your party. If you loved this video or liked it, subscribe or give it a like, share it, whatever you want. That's the biggest help that you can do for this channel. All right, I'll see you on the next one. I'm Eduardo Talbert. This is Monster Tutorials. You and me and all of us are the prop mob.